first I have to cut a chunk of the the pipe uh, to get the uh, the threads off of it and I'm going to leave a little bit in case I need a stub sometime uh, that's called a parting tool and uh, cutting pipe with uh, a lathe is uh, is pretty easy you just come into it with the parting tool Running about 240 RPM. I'm feeding it by hand right here. And then I can feel it getting a little soft, it'll drop off in a second. There it goes. See the nice clean finish. These will be a little hot. Yeah, it's a little hot, but uh, that's what the, uh, the part looks like when it drops off. Set that in my scrap pile for when I need it. <clears throat> now I'll clean it up with a file and uh, so I don't cut myself and and I can start uh, making the uh, the part. That's going to be the threads are going to be inside. Well, I'm going to get the inside diameter correct. I move the uh, tool in there using these handles down here. This moves the lathe this way. And this moves that carriage in and out. See it move? Alright, so I'm using that handle to move it in until it just touches. Hear it? Because the pipe's uneven. Move in uh, 20 thousandths to zero here. That's an arbitrary setting. Let's see if I can get a cleanup. So I took a cleanup cut there and let's see what it cleans up to. 850.848 inches and we want it, it to be uh, 0.89 inches. We got to remove 40 thousandths, that's 20 on a side. That's not bad at all, it's just going to fit. So I'm going to move the dial out 20 thousandths. Let's make it 30 and take another cut. Okay, eight, uh, eight, six, two. So we got uh, thirty to go because we want it uh, eight nine. Is that correct? Yeah. Point eight nine zero. So we got thirty thousands to take off. Dial her out. Thirty. I believe in measure twice and cut once, folks. So I take a little cut on it to see if we're close. Well, I think that's going to do. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be real pretty because I'm going to cut threads in it. Okay, got the inside diameter. Oh my. Well, that's just about there. Not there. Okay. We can get away with that. We get some different measurements in there. I might just take another cut to smooth it out. The thing about working with pipe, it's, it's shitty steel. Alright. Don't have to pour it down. A close up of my uh, tool I'm using to cut this inside um, diameter. It's a uh, homemade boring bar made from a 3 8 inch square cutting tool and you just grind it off here and, and put on your uh, put on your uh, your cutting edge there you drop it down a little bit so you can get your center and you're rounded here I've been making those for years I use them all the time you don't need a boring bar for a shallow hole I like high speed this is high speed so I like high speed over carbide any day uh, for what I do 